All right, welcome everyone, guys, to a new episode of the Zono Podcast. I think it's episode six this week. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're going to talk about um, a few topics that I really want to address. We're going to talk about battle royales. We're going to talk about words a little bit. Uh, we're just going to discuss some stuff. So if you guys uh, feel free, like to sit back, relax, put me on the like on the side while you do your work. Um, first topic of the day, guys. I really want to talk about the battle royale mode, um, the game genre that is actually taking over the world, it's taking over Twitch, it's taking over YouTube, it's taking over the gaming industry, the esports industry, everyone is talking about it, everyone is playing it, I guess everyone is playing it, I like, I, can, I like, at my school I cannot stop hearing about it, my friends from France cannot stop t- talking about it to me, um, it is really insane, like we went from a uh, MMO era, then from a MOBA era where League of Legends just ruled the world with Dota 2 and all those like little MOBAs on the sides, we and then we're just moving towards a battle royale mode. This is like this is just a new era of gaming. Like this is just the new mainstream uh, game that everyone wants to play with their friends. Uh, yeah, I guess this is how we can call it. It's funny because I've been into all those three eras. Like, I really played World of Warcraft for, like, a really good time. Uh, actually, like, f- I think five years, dude. I think five years I was playing World of Warcraft. Um, with, like, breaks and stuff, but I literally bought every extension uh, that there is. I think so, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I think I bought every extension that there is. And then I played League of Legends when it came out, like season, end of season two, start of season, like start of season two, end of season one. Um, I played that for like six years. It was insane. League of Legends, really, really. I mean, I still play it once in a while, but now, dude, I'm on, I'm on that new wave, that battle royale wave, man. It is it. So, like a hundred million people, I bought PUBG for thirty dollars. Um, after watching so many streams from like Nate Shot, uh, Climb Down Shroud, X CSGO Player, and I've just been blown away by the fun of it, dude. It's so fun, uh, whether you're solo or with your squad. Uh, squad is so much more fun, though. Honestly, like, this shit is amazing. Like, the whole reviving. Um, I f- well, I feel like we- I cannot mention Battle Royale without mentioning H1Z1. Of course, guys, sorry. Uh, but H1Z1 has been insane as well, massive, 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 but just the company was not doing anything about it, uh, not trying to fix shit that the players really complain about, but this is really the topic on my last podcast where I talk about like how PUBG just took over the industry of Battle Royale and gaming in general, but today I really want to talk about those two games, so PUBG and Fortnite. So if you guys aren't sure what Fortnite is, is a new video game made by Epic Games using the Unreal Engine. Uh, it is in early access uh, and the release date is supposed to be in 2018. It will be available on PlayStation 4, uh, Microsoft, Windows, e- Xbox One, and probably Macintosh as well, uh, which is Very interesting because we rarely see some Mac games coming out at the same time as PC and consoles. So, why not? Why not? I'm really excited to it. I have a MacBook here, by the way. I have a MacBook here, and obviously I don't play with this. I play with that. But if I want to play on the go, I can have my laptop, play at school, play in class. What's up? So, that should be very, very interesting. Um... So Epic Games, guys, I don't know if you're familiar with this company, but they've done their latest biggest game, I want to say, is Paragon. And I've talked a lot about Paragon and how I think it was like the most bullshit video game ever because it was marketed in a way that it's like, oh, look at my game, it's beautiful. And I think that as a gamer, I don't give a shit if your game is beautiful. If, if the gameplay is shit, it's the game is shit. Like, I don't care if it looks good, uh, I want to know if it's good. Like, just like uh, food, whatever. Like, the burger can look really good, but if it's not good, it's not good, right? Um, I hope you got that analogy, but that was kind of bad. God, I have to stop talking about food, man. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so, Epic Game did this game, Paragon, uh, trying to revolutionize or just like do their own uh, little taste out of mobile gaming. Uh, after the whole hype about Dota 2, League of Legends, all those on Heroes of the Storm, all those like, before the, before this, like a little bit after this was really hot, Paragon 
and Epic Games came out with Paragon, which was supposed to be like a great MOBA where the graphics were absolutely insane, the mechanics was okay. It was a, a, a smite looking MOBA where it was like third person shooting and stuff like that. I saw a few streamers in France actually, uh, in the occasion of like um, a sponsored stream, just showing the game a little bit, showing what it's about, what you can do on it, and just giving the early access keys. And I saw a little bit of it. I, I, it was a beautiful game, right? But the gameplay didn't look as interesting as me uh, as I would like it to. And also, it's like, why play Paragon when you can play League of Legends? That's always like what I've wondered. It's like, is this? It's not the same game, but why would you play a game that no one is playing? Like everyone is at League of Legends, dude. Why? Why are you trying to mess around? Like everyone is going to uh, Brian's party. Why are you trying to go at uh, William's party? Like, you know what I mean? Like, everyone is playing League of Legends, dude. Everyone is partying at the League of Legends house. Why are you trying to build your house and call it Paragon? Like, it, it's a good, it's a good, it's like, it was a good try, but this game was just so overhyped and just they spent so much money on sponsored stream, uh, showing, telling streamers to play it and say it's awesome where it's not. It was just a little sad. But Epic Games did some amazing games. They're responsible for Gears of War, uh, Unreal Tournaments, of course, Infinity Blade. Um, what else? Well, I think I have, I have like a little least list here. Um, well, they have Bricks. Okay, Bricks is old school shit. But basically, Unreal Tournament and Gears of Wars are the biggest, biggest, biggest. Uh, with Infinity Blade, they're the biggest franchise that they ever launch. Um, so... Now they're releasing Fortnite. So Fortnite is a little bit like... I talked to my friend from school. He told me it's like the mechanics from Rust with the graphist of... Um, uh, oh my god, what's the name of this? Uh, of Team Fortress. It's a Team Fortress Rust hybrid uh, that has the same gameplay as H1Z1 or PUBG. It's a battle royale. You get dropped on a map. You, it's the same principle. You get dropped on a map, parachute down to stuff, you gotta get weapons, you gotta kill everyone, and you gotta be the last one standing. The map retracts, you take damage if you're out of the zone, etc, etc, etc. But just the mechanics in-game are a little bit different. Obviously, it's like a little bit cartoony, so there's not like real like army stuff, like bullets or stuff like... You don't have this pudgy feeling where like you're at war. Like you are at war, and you gotta be the last one standing. Uh, you have like... So something I like is that there's a mechanic that is very unique, which is called building. Uh, you have a pickaxe as your first item, uh, and you can farm wood, uh, rock, and metal, and you can build stuff with that. You can build a house, you can build walls. I mean, you can build a house by building walls around you with stairs and floors and stuff like this. But it is such an interesting thing is that you can build an entire thing just to protect yourself or just to heal yourself, like you can build a little barricade and heal yourself, or just hide yourself, or do stuff like that. So you have you have the stairs, you have the floors, you have the walls, you have like a pyramidal stuff, and I've seen some streamers do it, like I've played Fortnite maybe like two to three hours, and honestly it's so hard to get used to this building thing, but when you see a streamer really like embracing it, like just mastering the building phase, it is insane what you can do. And this is so interesting. Like, you can be, like, floors going up, like, stairways to heaven, and just be, like... And, like, you can have a sniper and just surprise your opponent like that. It's really insane. It's crazy what you can do. There's also very fun weapon, like, uh, rocket launcher, bazooka. Um, there's interesting snipers uh, I saw. Uh, what did I see again? Uh, traps. Traps are super interesting. Traps are really interesting. There's one that it's, like, you put it on the wall... Um, and if you if someone goes uh, like close to it, it can electrocute you. Uh, there's baits, there's stuff that puts spikes on the floor when someone steps in. There's like traps. So traps is different. It's a different vibe. It's a different mechanics. It's something different to think about when you play the game. Uh, as like you have to be careful. It's not something super popular. It's not like you have traps everywhere. But it's still something very interesting. Something you don't have as PUBG has. You don't have cars, you don't have motorcycles, you don't have like mobility uh, stuff. Uh, you don't have, uh, you have the revive, you have the revive just like PUBG. You, if, uh, if you're in squad and one of your ally gets shot, he gets knocked out and you can revive him. Uh, what else do you have? You have different grenades. Um, 
that's pretty much it. Otherwise, the game is a little bit different in terms of mechanics when it comes to uh, the aiming, when it comes to uh, the weapon. I know in PUBG you have all those like silencer, scope, uh, quick draw, all that shit that you put on add-ons in your weapons. You don't have that uh, for uh, you just don't have that for Fortnite, which I think is kind of good. Because it, it can it just takes the hassle of like figuring out what you need for your weapon, what you want for your weapon. And this is better, dude. Honestly, it's it's just better. I like it that way way better. The the looting is just a better experience than PUBG. PUBG, like you see so much stuff and you're like, okay, there's ten items in front of me and nothing goes on my weapon. What the actual fuck? So you don't have this experience for Fortnite that I like. One thing I don't like about Fortnite is the graphics. I'm not a fan of this cartoony stuff. It is something that is very easy on the eye. Um, and you have more, you have less trouble just recognizing shit, which I don't like about PUBG because PUBG is so real. It's so real that sometimes you don't see anything and you get shot somewhere and you're like, oh my god, where is this person? I cannot find you. Where are you? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much my opinion about this. Like, I think Fortnite is going to be super interesting. But what I'm curious about, and this is how I'm going to end the podcast, is we're seeing companies going into the battle royale okay For right now i can probably assure you that blizzard and riot games are having meetings and saying okay there is the battle royale mode we need to do something about it people wants to put people want to play battle royale people want to do this people want to do that there's got to be some discussion inside riot games and blizzard which are the now the top two companies in gaming as far as esports is concerned they gotta think about something because Overwatch is a flop. Like, st- like let's stop talking about Overwatch and Overwatch League. Uh, that shit's never gonna work. Nobody's hyped with Overwatch anymore. Nobody, nobody knows the names of the player. Um, like, at least I don't give a fuck about Overwatch to be honest. Like, I don't think this game will ever come back. It's not something fun to spectate. It's not something fun. It's not. It's just not fun. It's just not cool. I'm not having fun watching Overwatch. But let's let's not talk about this. I've talked about that so much on past podcast and we'll just see how it goes when it goes I guess but right now I'm just wondering is Riot Game and Blizzard working on a, on a battle royale that's literally the question of this podcast because uh, as business works like trends are trends are trends and you gotta act upon them people wanna play battle royale give them give the people what they want so I'm not sure how this is gonna go out. Um, it's interesting, dude. It's it's really interesting. Um, I'm trying to think of what what can Riot Games do, man. Because Riot Games they proved themselves in one game, so they know how to do one game, and they know how to, they did it, obviously they did it really well. Blizzard they did like eight game, eight like bestseller games. Uh, overhype, they have the best teams, the best devs, the best everything, and they could spit some f- flames, dude. They can, they can revolutionize the, this is a revolution. They can revolutionize the Battle Royale industry. But how, dude? How do we get Battle.net and Riot Games to build a Battle Royale, dude? This is gonna be insane. And the, the thing that's funny is that they're not first to the party. Uh, I'm not saying that Riot Games was first at the MOBA, but they were really the first at democratizing the MOBA, like making it like uh, easy to use, hard to master type of stuff. Right now, Fortnite a little bit like it looks a little bit like that. Fortnite is a game that that could have been a right game. Like I'm not even kidding. It's an easy game. Like it's very easy. You got colors. You got very cartoony stuff. It's the 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 principle is very easy. The aiming is not hard. It is super hard to master because you have like a lot of mechanics. You have the building skills. You have the skills. You have aiming skills, you have sniper skills, you have all that, right? So, uh, Fortnite, you told me that Riot Games did Fortnite, I would have been, yeah, dude, that that could have been it, like, why not? It looks like something Riot Games would have done. Obviously, it's not, but if Riot Games can do something like Fortnite, maybe, uh, like, ten times better, they could absolutely take over the world. Because people are waiting for the new Riot Game. The people are waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. It's been eight years, man. I don't think I don't think Blizzard went eight years without launching a new franchise. Eight years, dude. Seven years. Eight, we're gonna we're going to 2018. It's like in two months. October. Yeah, two three months. Riot Games, dude. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Blizzard. Where are you at? 
I don't know, man. It's it's very funny to see how the industry just shifts like from one day to another. It's one day you see MOBAs, the other day you see battle royales. What's gonna go next, dude? What's coming next? At least for me, guys. Maybe you guys are huge Hearthstone fans. Maybe you huge Overwatch fans. But this is how I saw the game industry evolve in my in my entourage and what I see and what I play. Like MMOs. It went from MMOs to um, MMOs to MOBAs and MOBAs to Battle Royales. Uh, I've played everything. I've played Overwatch. I played Hearthstone. I played StarCraft. I played uh, Diablo. I didn't play Diablo, actually. I did I did play Diablo, but that was not my game. But it wasn't a game that revolutionized the industry. Like, The Last Diablo wasn't. Some people play on the side, but it's usually not their main game. Like, it's not their main game. Let me just see something on Twitch. I want to see who is streaming what right now. Just to get a better grasp of, like, who is top. I want to see where are the Battle Royales right now. So, there's probably the World Championship going on uh, for League of Legends. I just want to check if that's true. No, so League of Legends, words are not going on right now, which is good. I think we have still like a week. Uh, I think Thursday, right? Thursday is when it starts. Uh, we got the first uh, matches of words, uh, group stages. So, right now, uh, we have this. We have this. Let me just show you. We have a little PUBG here. I don't know if you can see, but let me just show you. Wait. Let me just do this real quick. I'm just gonna put myself right here. So right now we have PUBG at 100,000 viewers. We have 86,000 viewers for League of Legends, 40K for Hearthstone. Fortnite is at 20,000 right now. Uh, Cuphead, I don't know, it, sh it should be something for charity or something like that. that that's, what it, that's what it is, right? It's always things like that, dude. Oh, it's just Lyric. Okay, Lyric is just playing this. <laughs> Lyric, literally like 30,000 viewers by himself playing a game that I don't even know what this is. But yeah, this is really um, Battle Royales, dude. They're on the top they're on the top line. Top one, PUBG, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top ten. We have the top ten here, guys. FIFA 2018, that shit's gonna die uh, because this is a niche market and there's a hype because this game just came out or the demo just came out or stuff like that. Destiny 2, it's also a niche market. Nobody's gonna give a fuck about this in two months. CSGO, still going strong. By the way, guys, I'm going to IEM Oakland. If you guys are there, let's meet up. Let's get some pizza. Let's get, let's chill. Let's say hi. Um, if you guys are there, yeah, I might go there, actually. I don't have my tickets officially, but me and my friends, we actually wanna pull up. Dota 2 is Dota 2. They're really good when their tournaments are here. Smash Bros. It's also a very niche market. There's some big tournaments going on right now. So it's normal. It's here. Hearthstone always here. League of Legends always here. So right now we're really rotating between PUBG, League of Legends, Hearthstone, Dota 2, CSGO, Fortnite, Overwatch, and then that's it. The rest is very like interchanging all the time and it's never the same uh, ever. But it is, it is what it is. Where is the 21 one dude? Where is H1Z1? Oh, H1Z1. Nobody's playing H1Z1 right now? Oh. Dude, that's so bad. Oh, my God. The biggest streamers are not there. But still, dude. Oh, my God. With 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47th. Is the 47th game stream right now? Smite is above it. Minecraft is above it. Paladins is over it. <gasps> wow, dude. H1Z1 just freaking died, dude. PUBG just headshotted H1Z1, dude. Like, not even knockout, just headshot it. Like, fucking between the eyes type of shit. This is so interesting to see, guys. I always look at Twitch and I'm like, I want to see what people want. This is how you figure out trends, dude. Like, Battle Royale is the new era of gaming, and I think that it's it's only going to get better. PUBG and Fortnite are just a little appetizer that you like, that little uh, croquette with some cheese, uh, that little... Um, what appetizer do I like? Like croquette with some cheese, that little salami that you get with some uh, ch uh, from baguette and some white wine uh, in France for the appetizers. But once Blizzard is going to bring out the big course, and once Red Game is going to bring the dessert, this is when shit is about to go down. This is when people are going to go crazy, dude. And this is when I'm probably going to go crazy and just like start doing hella videos on the game. Because 
Oh my god, I wish I knew, dude. I wish I had like a freaking like spy on Riot Games or Battle.net and be like, I those are those guys building a battle royale right now? Because they gotta talk about it. I mean, you see Brian uh, during the coffee. You see like uh, Luca, Lucas during the coffee. You work at Blizzard with them. The little coffee break. You're like, bro, did you see PUBG? Did you see Fortnite? We gotta build a battle royale and fuck shit up, dude. They they gotta talk about it. They they cannot ignore it. Like they cannot ignore it. They have to have some sort of discussion. And same thing for Riot Games, dude. Same thing for Riot Games. And again, uh, I just can't wait, dude. I can't wait to see some new stuff happening. Riot Games has to build a second franchise. Like right now, League of Legends is slowly in decline after this worst championship. I don't know if this is gonna still be a thing, man. But I'm having I'm having small burps. I'm sorry, guys. This is just me eating 20 minutes before I record the podcast like a dumbass. Um, sorry about that. Sorry about that. But, no, but, like, guys, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself again. But if you guys, if you guys think that what I'm saying is completely crazy, just say you're crazy, dude. But if you think I'm making sense, tell me, dude. Tell me that, tell me that Riot Games is working on something. Tell me that Blizzard is working on something. And I want to know something. So let's do a little vote. Let's do a little survey before I end this podcast. If you guys want to take two minutes. Thumbs up, okay, if you think that Blizzard is going to launch a Battle Royale. And funds down in this video if you think that Riot Games is going to launch a Battle Royale first. And just and then if you vote if you vote by funds, thumbing down or up, just put a comment like, yo, I think that Riot Games is going to build something like this, blah, 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 with those graphics, with this type of vibe, with... Like, how are they going to revolutionize it? Like, are they going to have, like, items, gold? How are they going to do it? Like, how are they going to change the game? Uh, and they're going to change the vision we have together. Because if you change things, uh, you got to make it better. Like, Dota 2 was a perfect MOBA, but there was things that needed to be changed to be mainstream. Riot Games just launched the League of Legends and just made it the way people wanted it to be. So it's very interesting, so don't forget your vote guys, funds up, Blizzard makes it, funds down, Riot Games makes a Battle Royale. Uh, I'm super excited for 2018 to be honest, I, I, this is not an end of the year video, it's only October 1st, uh, the day I'm recording this, but I'm just so excited about this end of the year, I'm so excited for words, I know I haven't talked about it a lot, but I just did my pick and video, so go and watch it, this should be super interesting, um, and also guys, like, yeah, like this end of the year should be super cool. I am Oakland. Hopefully, I can vlog there. I can do some cool shit there. Um, and next year is going to be crazy. 2018 is going to be the craziest year of gaming, I think, in 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 the world. And hopefully, I can find the game that I want to do uh, that I want to do YouTube content on. I I sincerely wish I sincerely wish I can do something like that. It should be super. Uh, interesting. So thank you so much for tuning in guys. Thank you so much for watching if you watch this video. Thank you so much for listening if you're listening in the bus, in the toilet, if you're taking a shit, if you're eating, if you're doing whatever you're doing. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you for the next podcast next week. I hopefully do some content about words during the week as well so I can post like maybe two to three video a week. Uh, I'll do my best. I promise. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you for the next episode. Take care. Cheers.